going. We're going, baby? It's going. Well, come sit by me, baby. I just need to make sure the shop Come right. sit by me, baby. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead! <laughs> Explosions and stuff happens and things. Cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. Yeah. See, the problem is we really, see, the sun is going down. The sun is supposed to set at 7.09. Yes. And I really wish you guys could see it. Well, the problem is if we turn the camera around and we're there, it'll look like we're yeah. in a witness protection program. <laughs> because, yeah, because it'll be backlit and Do you don't want mind? back. Yeah, would you mind? I, Do you mind, I baby? I don't mind. Whoa, Ladies and here. gentlemen, we have, oh, yeah. We've got a list of stuff and things that you are not going to believe. Okay. Can I get rid of the sunglasses? Oh, yeah? I can't see anything. Can't see? Okay. Well, why don't you sit? Go. We'll get yours out there and going. We have got some cool stuff tonight, guys. This live stream will soon be solar powered. Yeah, because like I said, the sun is setting at 7.09. <laughs> and, and then um, it will be pitch black at 7.39. So. Yep. And, so. And just so you know, I do watch that all winter long. She does, because there's a, there's a point where she's like... All right, enough. Yeah, and then it's the winter solstice, and it's going to come back up. So. Yes, yes, yes. So we have, whoa, oh, my gosh. We got to say hi to people. Actually, you got to say hi to people. You are slacking, oh, sister. Slacking, oh, my gosh. She's watching I'm not, ads. Okay, because I'm trying to get this going. Sheesh. Sheesh. Ha, sheesh. Well, go, go, go. Okay, so Mike DeFazio, Bridget LM, Tracy Ace, Cassandra McKenzie, Ellen Bloomfield, CDD Art 21, Ann Waters, Butterfly Enterprises, Pam Kirkpatrick, Pam Burt, Deep South Texas, mm. Connie Odom, Nikki Lynn, Margaret Panny, I'm going to guess. Uh, Inger Egermont, she is from the Netherlands. She is. Um... <laughs> Adaptive Maritimer, T.J. Miller. That's funny. I have a cousin named... No, it's not T.J. Miller. We've talked about this before. It's T.J. Max. It's a it's store. It, well, my maiden name is Miller. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, let's not give out that personal information. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Jeez. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and put your social security number up? <laughs> Whoopsie okay. daisy. All righty then. So, welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody. Hey, there's some people wondering what the heck we're doing. I'm just gonna wave. You know what's awesome is we actually, uh, just about 10 minutes ago, yeah. there were some folks that pulled up because they saw our vehicle and they said, I think that is a relative of ours. So they pulled over and they're right. looking at us and they're going, what in the what? Because we got, we got a light set up here and we got some stuff and it's, yeah. Uh, and I noticed that he just happened to be wearing I keep honeybees. Right, right. And I was like, you, me, we got to talk. <laughs> Super yeah. cool people. Nice couple. And uh, so, yeah, that was fun. Yes. So let's get to it. We have got so much stuff going on tonight, guys. Uh, and by the way, I think it's very important to point out that you are a big part of the show. Mm -hmm. You need to interact not just with us, but with each other. So if somebody says something funny, springboard off it. Oh, definitely. If somebody says something really, really great information-wise, mm -hmm. springboard off of it. Mm -hmm. Just, it's family, friend, show, keep it clean. That's right. That's you know, right. when the light is green, the trap is clean. So here we go. <laughs> Name that movie. <laughs> That's all you got. All right, garage sailing. Oh my gosh. That was fun yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Yes. Today is Sunday. Yesterday yes. was Saturday. Yeah. So do tell what was the what was your favorite thing of the the stuff and the things of the garage sailing? The barn and the fire station. Well, you got to tell them what it is. Well, okay. So Brad and Brad had found these uh, Christmas houses, like the Christmas scene and the, all the little people, and it was really really cool. And there was one that was a fire station with some firefighters on there. And then there was another one that was a barn that had a cow and a horse and some chickens. And it was, oh, and there's some fencing too, which was really cute. Like fencing. Um, no, not that kind of fencing. It's not a very Christmassy to fence. No, no. So it was just, it was so, so cool. Um, but then it was even better is meeting the folks that we bought the stuff from. Betty and Eddie were mm -hmm. just the nicest couple. Mm -hmm. um, just super sweet. So... 
that was awesome. And I think the best thing about it was she really didn't want to get rid of it just no. to get rid of it. Right. She wanted it to go to her kids and her grandkids, but they didn't want it. Right. And um, so we're like, no, we collect this stuff. This is great. Mm -hmm. right. And she's like, take it all. I want it to go to you. Right. 30 bucks. Well, and the fact we told her that our son is a firefighter and that she got so tickled when she heard that. So that yeah. was really cool. What's with fish? Bringing Claire fish? Bringing Claire fish? Somebody wants to bring Claire fish to the meetup. <laughs> Mrs. T apparently <laughs> likes fish. <laughs> What's he talking about? As Brad pensively <laughs> strokes his beard. Oh okay, gosh. other stuff. Claire is better. Yes. Her fever broke way a while ago, mm -hmm. and we're just super grateful for the well wishes and the, mm -hmm. the good vibes and the prayers. Yeah. We are super grateful. Yeah. And uh, we also went on a college tour, which I think if I have to do many more of those, I will actually tear my eyes out with my own claws. I think I might, my head might explode. I actually said that at the last one. We, we affectionately named one of the little tour guides who was like incredibly like gooey syrupy bubble we we call her bubbles now we, yeah her nick her nickname is bubbles because that's how happy she is she's she's let's just say that she has happy. been hanging out with willy wonka and got into the fizzy lifting drinks a long time ago yeah it was fizzy lifting drinks yeah, I, you okay. stole Fizzy lifting drinks. All right, so to explain this college tour, because I didn't give my two cents, and, and I, I'm not really going to do that. I'm just going to explain how the tour went. For the first half hour, we sat in a theater with a presentation. I'm going to jump into the water and put a millstone around my neck in that order. <laughs> I don't want to do the college thing no more. <laughs> You're then, killing me, small. Then the next half hour, we're walking around, Brad, me, the kids... We're all walking around, and I'm I'm to the point where she's just so happy, giddy. I want to throw up, and I just whisper to Brad, "I think my head's gonna explode." And he said, "You know what? I think I'll do. I'll take the kids." Peace out. <laughs> and I took the kids. I'm like, these kids, they cannot be taking this. They're gonna be. They were perfectly behaved, but I'm like, they are losing it. <laughs> they're it was not the kids. It was him. Like, of course, granted, they were bored out of their minds. Okay, as we all were, but he took the kids and went to a park, and left me with Claire and Bubbles and Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. What was that? That was great in Finding <gasps> Nemo. Bubbles. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Papa Kryptos, <laughs> to you, sir. So, okay, so then the tour went on for another hour. It was a two-hour tour, not a three-hour tour, hour a two-hour two tour. And I have to tell you, I was exhausted. If I had known we were going to walk around for an hour and a half around this entire humongous campus, I would have worn tennis shoes. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an excellent Stop. driver. I'm an excellent driver. <laughs> That's how I felt. I was like, please get me out of here. I'm an excellent driver. Okay. Fistics on Tuesdays. We're taking... Well, I'm no. at seven. <laughs> no, I, I have water. There's no happy juice. I have water. Okay. Maybe, maybe Bubbles was drinking happy Bubbles! Juice. <laughs> anyway. So, other stuff. We are going to try something that we have done once at home, but we are out in the great wide open. And we are going to power the show tonight with our solar powered system, our energy Kodiak system. And right now we officially have sundown. So we're gonna get ambient light for a while and we're gonna wait till it gets a little good and dark. And I got some lights here and we've got the cameras powered by that and all the, the goobies and stuff is all charged up. And, mm -hmm. and so this should be fueled 100% by the sun. You know, okay, well, with that, Ellen's asking, how are the mosquitoes? You know what? We're sitting right on the water, so there's really, there's none here. They don't like the water. Well, no, that's not I true. I don't know they, that. they like the water. They lay their eggs in the water. But with the breeze coming off of the lake, they're, they're not here. I don't, I don't have any mosquitoes flying around me whatsoever. The first time we came out here, I thought we were going to have that problem. So I put this... Um, all natural bug stuff all over me, and which smells really, really good. It's essential oils and yada yada, and I didn't have any problems because there was no bugs. <laughs> so 
I skipped it. I just think that I've got actual, you know, like battery acid flowing through my veins because they don't like me. They don't like me. I have sweet blood. They like sweet me. Sweet blood. Sweet blood. All right, so solar powered. We're going to see how this goes. Uh -huh. um, I think that it is about dang time to do some channel shouting outing and outing outing. Okay. What do you think? Channel so, shouting outing. Ladies and gentlemen, it has come to that portion of the evening where mm -hmm. you are not only allowed to shout out any channel you like, including your own, but you are encouraged to shout out whosoever channel you like, whoever you want everybody to see. And, you know, you're going to type like the wind, type like the wind, Bullseye. And Krista's going to try to read as many as she can. So on your mark, get set and type. Shout out, shout out, shout Northeast out. Northeast Edibles, Big Family Homestead, UW. Okay. Uh, living with, living like Claire, Roots and Refuge, Homestead Exchange. Um, the rap in the rabbit hole, Bumblebee Junction, uh, fishing with Norm, homesteading off the grid, Jesse James, homestead. He provides Ellen's online. S okay, uh, this is going way too fast. Gotta go, babe. Gotta the go. Adaptive root. <sighs> the adaptive maritimer roots and refuge. <laughs> Prep Center Bob, Gilbrook Farm, Truthification Chronicles, Freedom Acres, Homesteady, uh, Living on a Dime, Sounds Like Rain. That's a good channel. They have really, really pretty music. Bobblehead Homestead, Stony Ridge Farm, Raw Life Superfoods, Lumina Acres, Living Traditions, Deep South Homestead, BC Truck, Woot Woot, Woot Woot, <laughs> <laughs> Roots and Refuge, Gavin Weber out of Goshen, Guildbrook Farm, Say Perfect, Loot, oh, Roots and Refuge. Whenever you're ready. Art and Bree. <laughs> you let me know when you're ready. Noreen's Kitchen and Needy Homestead. Roots and Refuge, Parsnips and Parsimony, Full House Homestead. Oh, somebody put Art and Brie three times in a row. That's fine. Cog Hill Farm, uh, live, thinking of others. You ready? Yeah. I'm okay. Um, do me a favor, open up another tab, because if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, uh, I would really appreciate it if you would do this, because I'll tell you what, if you guys have ever done any content creation on YouTube, you know how nice it feels when you go and you got another subscriber or two or five mm -hmm. because it's a lot of work to yes, do this and you really want to feel like it's valuable to people mm -hmm. and so this channel i'm gonna let you talk about the channel without giving it away okay can you do that i doubt it well don't give it away okay. but go i will try Tell. they're really awesome people <laughs> Check. <laughs> they, they homeschool their kids. Their kids are... Behaved. Behaved and flippin' hysterical. And respectful. Respectful. Um, they cook up a storm. They cook like nobody's business, and they cook amazing dishes. Mom is a fantastic cook, and she makes... Mom has a dark streak. She is hysterical. Let's no, just okay. say. I have to tell. The well, I was story. gonna. I was gonna set it up. Okay, you set it up. Okay, here's the thing. We we had just gotten to know these people, and we were hanging out mm -hmm. with these people, and um, Chris and I were just going back and forth. We were spatting. We were like not just kind of not you know just did 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 you know yeah bickering just a tiny bit. And she didn't really know us that great, and we didn't really know them that great. And then she goes to Krista's defense and says, "I'll turn my back while you get the shovel and lime." <laughs> The get the shovel and lime. <coughs> she so is she's a fantastic, fantastic lady. And I will say that the dad is he's a friend of mine, a I would say a lifelong friend that we're not we've only known him for two, for two years now. Um yes. good enough. Yes. And um maybe. They're just the kind of people you want to be around. Mm -hmm. And that is the Go and Batty channel. Yeah. That's G-O-I-N-B-A-T-T-Y. And if you would please go and subscribe to them uh, and, and uh, watch a few videos over the next few days. And if you don't like it, unsubscribe. But, you know, give them a chance. Yeah. And I guarantee you tomorrow, because they don't know we're doing this. No. And I guarantee you tomorrow when they wake up and they're like, oh, yeah. where do these subscribers come from? Yeah. Um, 
that she has, I, I'm not kidding, guys. She has some really amazing recipes. Thrive Life stuff, too. Thrive stuff, too, yes. Mm -hmm. um, they they have a small cookbook that they put out um, that's, I think, got eight or ten recipes in it. But they are fantastic recipes. Yeah, um, they're recipes for guys like me. Mm-hmm. She's got man catching cookies. That's the and name ladies, of the recipe. Man catching cookies. You single ladies out there, you need to go over there and watch that video on how she makes man catching cookies. Because let me tell you, that's how she caught her man. <laughs> yeah. So, uh oh, wind's picking up. Um, here's another thing though. I wanted to point out another individual that this is kind of different for the channel shout out because we don't usually do individuals but this individual is probably one of the most hardworking people i have ever met and um when you see this person in this channel it's hard to understand just how much uh gets done and i just want to say i'm very grateful to my wife what are you talking about that's you what I just wanted to oh, say. Oh, honey. You punk. Thank you. Anyway, I'm the luckiest guy. All you other guys, sorry. You think you might be lucky? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I was stressing out a little bit earlier because I went outside to milk the cow at, what, 525? And it's we got early. we got to take all this stuff to a, lo a remote location, set it all up. Yeah. And yeah. I was trying to be very patient, and I was. Yes, you were, yes. And I was just, like, rushing around trying to get the milking done, and then the milk sorted, and kids where they need sorted to be. Sorted, and, and <laughs> shelved, and Claire, collated. Getting, making sure Claire gets up, because she took a nap this afternoon. and Got to make so. sure that the, uh, the children are collated. And, <laughs> so. Well, and I cleaned up the school area today. Wait so. a second. I just saw the weekend homestead. Yeah. Will, he said he was not doing a show tonight. Am I am I incorrect in thinking that or are you just watching from your He's barn? Probably just watching. Cuz I don't want to I don't want to diss you, man. The weekend homestead, he'll have to uh bandana grandma. Come yeah, on now. Come on now. <laughs> It's true. I did marry up. There is no <laughs> doubt about that. Oh my goodness and gracious! I'm oh, watching he's from watching the shop. Oh, he's watching from the shop. Okay. Shop. So you know what? Let's let's take a second and talk about the meetup, and then we're gonna move on to our main topics. But the meetup, because Will's here, he's been working like a a, a freakish person who works a lot, <laughs> like that. So if you know somebody that works like that, that's what he's doing, and he's doing that for you. Mm -hmm. We got a meetup coming up. We have a meetup coming up, not this coming weekend, but the weekend after. So it's in two weeks from yesterday, people. I cannot believe how fast it has oh come up. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. So it should be absolutely gorgeous because the tree, the leaves are starting to <sighs> oh, turn. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, anyway, so the weekend of the 28th, 29th, and 30th, if you want to primitive camp. This month. Did I say that? I don't know. I just was well, reiterating. Well, I was saying in two, two weeks. So September 28th, 29th, and 30th is the get-together. If you want to primitive camp, you can get there on the 28th, and then you have to get out on the 30th. Get out. <laughs> Otherwise, Will might have to start charging you. Um, well, no, and I'm, let's I'm just say he is probably got the most awesome pyrotechnics company in the entire Midwest, if not further. And let's just say that he could motivate you to leave if you did not yes. leave. Oh, definitely, definitely. Peacefully. Will is saying there's 55 on the invites and three campers so far. That's awesome. That is so cool. I, That's awesome. I hope the campers have a fantastic weekend. So then. Sorry, I was going to continue on. On the 29th, the Saturday, um, is when we'll have all kinds of fun stuff going on. Um, we'll have some breakout sessions. I don't know what those are. That's what I was going to talk about. You and Will have been kind of doing those, so I... We're going to hone down on what we're going to do, but we're actually going to have some educational time, breakout sessions. I believe that uh, we're going to be doing some Q&A. I have not figured out whether Krista's going to do some soap making. 
maybe. I know that Prepstetter Bob is going to show up, and I believe we've got we've got something we want to talk to you guys about on how we can further build community and um, and possibly even come to your neck of the woods. Awesome, that's so cool. Yeah. And Re Will just reminded me there's a potluck, folks. <sighs> Bring something to share. And that does not mean that it's illegal. It's just food. No, not not no, not the not the the smoking kind. No. The food eating kind. Food kind and not not, brown, not naughty brownies. Not brownies. Not no, naughty brownies. No. I mean you can bring brownies, but not Not like naughty that's brownies. Na what? <sighs> Trying to help. Shh. <laughs> but you're, you're doing this when you, when should, you should be, be doing, doing this. this. <laughs> and Claire knows what that means. <laughs> Anyway, um, totally messed me up. Uh, okay, potluck. How's it going? <laughs> For the pause. There are other channels coming. Right now, we know that 180 degrees from normal is coming. We also know that Average. life. Dang it! I always get that wrong. Maybe they should change it to normal just for you. Life and Farmland is also coming. Yes, Prepstetter Bob. Prepstetter Bob. Is Us, there anybody else? The Weekend Homestead. I don't know. Um, Will Will would know. Will. Anyway, so sign up. It's going to be a hoot. A hoot. It'll be a hoot and nanny. <laughs> Ann Waters asks, are they like this all the time? She asks Claire if if we you and I are like this all the it's time. It's best just to keep us out of the conversation, Pretty Ann. Pretty that, much. That's true, um, actually. <laughs> So, yeah. for the potluck, I'll get back on point. Um, <laughs> if you bring a dish, please bring a recipe to share. Yeah. Because that's the one thing that we can't stand about potlucks, because you have this amazing dish, and then you can never have it again. Yes. I, I love so that and hate that. It can be photocopied. Doesn't matter. But bring a copy so that we can share. It's a recipe swap and a potluck. And Richard Barnes, yes, I am bringing a guitar. And so if you want to bring, you know, like an electric kazoo, that would be cool. Nice. Yeah, we're going to break out the guitars. We are. We're going to do a yeah. little bit of jamming. That's going to be the so, first thing that gets put in the van yes, this time. Yes, it probably will. Because yeah. last last time, I honest, I promise you I meant to bring it. Mm -hmm. And we were about halfway there, and I'm like, I don't know my guitar. No, I know. It was really irked us both and we're gonna bring nana again nana yeah she's huge well and we only the reason why we bring nana and not daisy is daisy can hold it all day long well yes daisy she is she's a fantastic dog but she also loses her mind when she's outside you've seen videos of her running around and nana chasing her oh daisy will just go and we have to rein her back in um, but I don't want to do that when we're there, so... Daisy's like, disengage brain. Oh, yeah. Engage Run. turbo boost. Right. She <laughs> just goes, and she's so fast. I think it might be time to turn the lights on. Not yet. No? I want it to be a nice, drastic change. So, okay, one last thing before we actually get to our first topic, and that is, we're giving away our goats. Yes. Yes. Goat <laughs> herd giveaway. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Yeah. yeah. The you can see the video uh on why, but bottom line is we've decided to go more bovine than goatine. This is a technical term. It is not. I do not expect the average layperson to understand. So we're giving away our goats. Yes, we are giving away our goats because, like Brad said, we are trying to go more of the large animal scene than the small animal scene. Um, it's very works challenging. better for it, us. It does work better for us for feeding the animals and um, housing the animals. You know, the goats can kind of get pushed around a lot by the cow. Macy, she gets kind of irritable. And so if there's a goat in her way, she just goes, funk. And you're, you're and gone. Throws the cat. She doesn't throw the goat, but she pushes it out it of the way. It looks like one of those Avenger movies when they like bam. Squirrel. No, it's when it's when Hulk is taking Loki and going wham 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 wham. Yes. Yeah. That is my favorite part of that whole movie. Yes. Is that evil? Yes. Yeah. 
So watch the video. You don't even have to be, you don't have to be a channel creator. We're not like trying to like get a bunch of subs, like giving away our goats for no, subs. No, that's not what no, we're No, we just want them to find the right home. Right. And so. And we also want to bless another family. Yes. Because they have been amazing goats. We just need to move on from, from goats. Because, you know, gro goats are a great first time homesteader. Um... <sighs> They're a gateway drug. You know, like it's, chickens are a gateway yeah. drug into homesteading. Goats are, you know, a great way to get into milking animals. Yes. Um, and we don't, we need more milk than we do, than we can get from our goats. Because now we're making so. butter, cheese. we're making yogurt, yogurt, we're making cheese, mm -hmm. and I don't like the stinky goat milk. No. I love, however, I love goat cheese. So I will have to ration my goat cheese for a very long time yes it makes me kind of sad but. so watch the video if you know anybody pass it on because you don't even have to be a youtuber nope there's some basic things watch the video right. all right so here's the scoop guys um kind of a serious bit today obviously our prayers and our thoughts go out to all the folks that are dealing with the hurricane on the eastern mm -hmm. seaboard yeah our our hearts are with you guys oh and i mean it's one of those things. We used to live in Florida, so we've been through hurricanes. Many. We hurricanes. actually had uh, the eye of a hurricane go directly over our home one time. Yeah, it was really eerie. Who are they? Are. Those are the people that came over earlier. It wasn't. It wasn't? No. <laughs> um, no. Um, yeah. But it was really crazy. You want to say? No, that's okay. Uh, because it was a category two? I don't remember. I thought it was a category two, but it's like... It is, I mean, bodacious whip and wind and stuff flying around and rain like mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it just goes, whoo. And it's eerie and it's Silent. quiet and it got green and there was nothing. Yeah. And we went outside and the yard's completely flooded with everything. Mm -hmm. And then basically in about 25, 35 minutes, it's all hell breaks loose again. Well, what we did was is there was there's a drainage ditch along the side of our property oh, we yeah. had two acres so the kids david jonathan and claire they were all really little so we took the boys out claire claire was too little we took the boys out and they had some little plastic beach boats and they were floating down the, the little river and then of course we ran back inside you yeah. know, in a few minutes but it was some fun to break up the you know tension and but it was yeah because really they were concerned so we were trying yeah. to you know Right. But we can honestly understand what that's like living in Florida for many, many years. And um, our hearts go out to those folks that are dealing with this. Yeah. Water is going to be a humongous issue because <laughs> it just seems like that thing has just gone slow it's and it's just dumping so, water. Yeah, it's really scary um, how much water is getting dumped on there on them right now. And um, Totally lost what I was going to say. I know several people have died. Yeah. Um, so we're with them, but while we cannot physically be there to help, we figured, well, this is kind of a platform that we have. Maybe we should take some time and talk about basic, basic preparedness that I promise you guys, I promise you there are tens of thousands of people right now wishing that they had stuff. Mm -hmm. They wish they had batteries. Mm -hmm. They wish they had candles. They wish they had food. They right. wish they had clean water. Right. And unfortunately, it's going to be a long time coming. Mm -hmm. And so, actually, Henry well, Rosa, thank and, you, sir. And they're going to be without electricity for several weeks. I know. Yeah. And so that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. Where it's When it gets just a little bit darker... I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we kick on the old solar thing. About 10 more minutes, it should be completely, completely dark. Completely dark. So. And so we brought out some lights and we're gonna finish the show with solar. But the thing is this, what kind of peace of mind would you have to know that, you know what, if your medicines need to stay cold, they can stay cold. Yeah. What it, the peace of mind to know that, you know what, you can have light a little bit to make sure that X, Y, and Z gets done, you know? electricity mm -hmm. how about you know making sure you got some food on hand so what i did today was i went to believe it or not our government actually has a oh i know I, I gotta back up and say that i almost choked on that right when i just said that 
our government actually has a very helpful website when it comes to basic, basic preparedness. Right, right. And it's ready.gov, mm -hmm. R-E-A-D-Y dot gov. And we printed off some of the things that they say, and I was really surprised because check it out for yourself, but they say build a kit, basic disaster supplies, uh, additional emergency supplies, maintaining your kit, where to keep your kit. It, yeah, where do you keep, where does it say to keep it? Yeah, FEMA is a no, no, do not go. Bridget, right. the thing is this, the information is good. Right, What was right. it, what was it, is it Ronald Reagan? What are the, the scariest words you hear, or what does he say? Yeah, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Right, the scary, the nine scariest words you hear, you can hear is, I'm, I'm from, from the, the government, government and I'm, I'm here, here to, to help. help. And I'll tell right. you what, guys, I don't want to get too dark about this because I really want to focus on staying positive mm -hmm. with, all right, what can we do? Right. Um, and I can't be there. So what can we do? We're going to use our platform to help other people get ready. Right. Um, but I know several people who were on the ground when Katrina hit. They were in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. They were downtown. Yeah. And I can tell you for a fact, I don't care what they said on the news, there were people getting shot. Mm -hmm. There were people that were having their, their Second Amendment rights forcibly removed. Mm -hmm. The people there say without a doubt that the levy was allowed to break. I can't tell you that. I don't I know that. There. I wasn't there. But they swear that it was allowed to break. And um, I'm, t I'm here to tell you guys, when disaster comes, people who are normally thinking, rational, logical people, they can lose their lunch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They go nuts. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. let's spend a little bit of time just talking what you guys, you know, who, okay, let's start this way. Who here that's in the chat has a preparedness plan. I don't care what it is, whether it's I got a go bag or I got food or I got Thrive Life or I got whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Who here in the chat? Dave says he yes. does. Thrive Life Canada. Uh, Bridget says she does. 320 Home said we do. Well, and you can't just have one. If you're, you know, if you're not at home, you need something in your car. If you're at work, you need something at work. Yeah. Um, and if you're at home, you have something at home. So you need three, not yes, just one. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Are we there? Are we to the time yet? 7.32, not yet. not yet. Almost there, guys. But then we're going to kick on the lights and see what this mm -hmm. does. Um, but here's the scoop. We all know the basics of life. Mm -hmm. You're going to need clean water. Mm -hmm. You're going to need shelter. You're going to need a way to eat. Yep. Now, how do you address those things? you got to make sure that you're thinking about how can I keep them dry? Mm-hmm. How can I keep them in a place or an area where rats won't eat them? Right. You know, so read a few of the things that the government actually got right. All right, let's see here. Okay. It For says, the keep... basic disaster supplies kit. Okay. Water. One gallon of water per day per person for at least three days. That's a minimum. And that's for drinking and sanitation. Food. At least a three-day supply of non-perishable food. So stuff in a can, stuff that can't mice can't get into, um, stuff that won't get wet. Yeah. Batteries. Um, like, oh, no, I'm sorry. A battery-powered or hand-crank radio. Yes. With a NOAA weather radio with a tone alert. Yep. Flashlight, first aid kit, extra batteries, whistle to signal for help. That's an excellent That's a huge addition. Thing. Yeah, or an air horn, you know, dust mask, dust mask. Yep, and then why did they put that there? To help filter contaminated air and plastic sheeting and duct tape to shelter in place. So if you've got a broken window, you can cover it up. Yeah, and here's the thing thing guys i'm gonna let her continue on in a second but you cannot prepare for everything but you can be reasonably prepared for the mm -hmm. basic stuff exactly i call them the what if scenarios of right. life right i mean we all know that if you live say oh i don't know in the middle of wisconsin you may have a snow event mm -hmm. 
or ice. Yes, we had an ice storm last year and we had... In April. <laughs> boatloads of snow last year. And, and you know what, you can't be prepared for everything, but the, the more you consider, all right, do I have my basics covered? Mm -hmm. Here, here's a huge one, and I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm gonna get ready to confess one of our preparedness sins. I'm gonna do it. Are we ready for the lights or no? Yes, we, yeah, it's okay. getting too dark. It is completely dark outside now, guys, because mm -hmm. all you can see is the light from this. Right, right, if we covered these up, then. Here comes our energy, Kodiak, solar power generator on your mark, get set, hit the lights. And, uh-huh, aha. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness gracious. What do you oh, think? Oh, that's so awesome. Look. And there was lights. And there is lights. Look at that. Yeah. And this thing is so cool. It's only 20 pounds. Yeah. And you got like even RV plugs and stuff. It's awesome. That's awesome. So. Prepstetter Bob just said, blinded by the light. Did you know that that song was not written by that band? That song was written by anybody? 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 Well, and didn't do, 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 don't, don't give it away. No. No, 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 no. Does anybody know who did that song originally? Yeah, Papa Crypto, so now the bugs are coming. That's true, but we can always throw the light into the lake and then we'll have fish. What? No. Bruce Springsteen, 320 got it right. What? 320 got it right. Oh, and by the awesome. way, hey, hey, Leatherwood. Hey. Um, so... Basic preparedness, guys. Um, what else? Now, additional okay. emergency supplies. What do they suggest? Okay, they moist towelettes, garbage bags, plastic ties for personal sanitation. So moist if you can't flush a toilet, you have to use a baggie. A dip. You dip it. And you get rid of it. Yeah. You're gonna need and, more than one. And you need you need more than moist to toilets. A square like that big. You need toilet paper. Yeesh. Extra toilet paper. And you need to put that toilet paper in a waterproof container. Like, you know what? You could <gasps> vacuum seal them. Well, your poop? No. God, bleh. Not like you do, you do on that? The Martian. No. That movie, The Martian. No. He saved it. No. Okay, you have storage bins, right? Well, yeah. a lot of the expensive ones are watertight, but the cheap ones are not. You could vacuum seal toilet paper. Are you sure? You could. Why not? Yeah. I mean, it would be expensive to do, but that way it'll be good it for the next wet. twenty. It'll be good for the next twenty-five years. Then that's right. You could freeze dry it. Just saying. Freeze dry it. It'll <laughs> all be smaller right, with right, the oxygen right, out right, of it. All right, all right, all right. Wrench or pliers to turn off your utilities and to hit your spouse with. A man. Okay, this is important, folks, because nobody has these anymore. I know we have two. What? A manual can opener. Yes. And I insist, I have probably five at home. No, we only have no, two. No, 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 I have stuff downstairs. Oh yeah, that's right, we do have a bin downstairs. Yes. So, a manual can opener because when the power's out, you won't be able to open up your canned food. Hey, Edward Healy. So, also, um, you need local maps. Because, yes. Because, where's your, where's your phone? My phone? Yes. Uh, why? Because I'm gonna show them something. What? Just may have my, may I have No, you phone? may not have my okay, phone. Okay, if they're asking for you to have local maps, may I see your phone? Why? Why? Okay. I've so, got information on there I don't want going out I on the internet. I going to show them. Will you relax? So if they want you to, if they're suggesting you have local maps, that means these funky devices are not going to work. Okay? Right. You can just throw that in the lake because that's all it's good for. And you can get them free. Ladies and gentlemen, where can you get them free? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller. <laughs> you can get them at your, um, at the welcome centers when you go into a state. But you can probably, I mean, nobody really, not very many people live near the border. It's not that far. For us it is. Anyway. Anyway. It's also telling you to have a cell phone with chargers and a backup battery, but I, wow, there's lots of bugs now. Yeah, I'm seeing there's bugs crawling all <laughs> over. Everywhere. And they're like creepy looking ones yeah. with big long tails. Edward, we, it is completely dark out. We yeah. actually brought a solar power generator to power yeah. the show. Yeah. So. Um, oh, gas stations have them too. But they're not free at gas yeah, stations, Yeah, they're not right? free, no. But it's worth having. Yes. You know? And, um, well, anything else on oh. there is basics? Let's see. Oh, here's a download the re recommended. Well, hold on one, um, one quick second. 
That's ready.gov. Mm -hmm. Now, let's open the floor up. What did they miss in the basics? You guys start typing. Oh, yeah. What, what, what did, they did they miss in the basics? And then we're going to mm -hmm. play a game that I think you are going to love because it's going to be funny. Funny, ha, ha. Funny, funny, funny. Funny, ha, ha. You funny, too. <laughs> the clock on the wall Those says three o'clock. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I heard those. They're coming. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Oh, yeah, Edward. Yeah, he just got one. He just got one of these. Yeah. Duct tape. Excellent. Duct tape. Yep. Bleach. Bleach. Excellent. Yep. Lighters. M waterproof matches. Generator. Mm -hmm. Lighter. First. Yeah, they did mention a first aid kit. Dry clothes. Pet supplies. A Bible, of course. Right. Definitely. Purification for water. Every state has online tourism site. Brian Hendershot. Glasses hey, Brian. repair kit. That's excellent. Yeah, definitely. Paracord. Yeah. Paracord. Cash. A flare. A knife, duh. You know, I got to mm -hmm. say, my knife is just a regular old Buck 110, but this gets used every day yeah. that I can ever remember. Iodine. I always have it on me. Mm -hmm. Iodine, eye drops, a flare. Rope. Excellent. A burn barrel, because you're going to have lots of garbage. Yep. A sewing kit. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad that idea at all. That is an excellent all. idea. Help from friends, Supply. getting started on homesteading mm -hmm. for the win. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, Clock because bags. you know what? You, you only got the people around you. That's right. That's right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not ready, do your best. Mm -hmm. Ready.gov has a basic site. I would encourage you to check out Prepsteader Bob's channel. Mm -hmm. He's like level 5.0, if this is like level 1.0. Right, right. And look... There are so many of the people that are in this comment section tonight who have channels. Mm -hmm. Check them out because there's a lot of good information that you don't got to pay a penny for. Right, right. Diapers. So, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, we didn't really talk a lot, a lot about this because I don't really want to talk a lot about this, but our Thrive Life food is waterproof in its can. Yep, if you don't open it. It's not going to go bad. Mice and rats and things cannot get into it, and it's good for 25 years, and it can save your bacon. Yep. So if you do not have any preparedness food, I would suggest or request, mm -hmm. check it out. There's a link down. If it's for you, great. It is definitely for us. Yep. So, all righty, guys. Now, um, tonight I wanted to do something a little fun, and you're going to need to be creative. All right? Not me. You. You. you Creative, yeah. I'm not creative. Ugh. It's sad. She was born without an I, imagination. I, 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 it's he's right. It's true. Yeah. I don't have an imagination. Whereas I don't have adult maturity. Right. Well, you know the thing is, I don't need an imagination. I have Brad. I've got double. <laughs> <laughs> he so. has plenty for everyone. <laughs> I've got who's it's and what's, what's it's galore. galore. You want to think about Bob's? <laughs> 20. I got 20. That's all right. No big deal. I want more. Right. Sorry, I don't okay. think. I play the radio. Tonight, <laughs> we're going to play a game that has never been played in the homesteading world. Not ever. Never, ever, not going to do it. Just wouldn't be prudent. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to give you a channel name. <laughs> a homesteading channel name. And you have to type in the perfect theme song ooh brad devilishly strokes his beard keep it clean people claire be ready the trolls are lurking i'm gonna give you a channel name and then you have to figure out like the perfect theme song so like if we were talking about um i don't know uh, well you're gonna have to get creative so are you ready to type are you ready to type ladies and gentlemen so here's the first channel. You have to come up with the perfect theme song, and, and Chris is going to read as many as she can. So the first channel is going to be The Weekend Homestead. What would be the perfect theme song? Oh, and he's not on anymore either. <laughs> perfect. He'll have to go back and read them. So if it was like a, you know, a sitcom, what would be the theme song that would play? Nobody's typing it. They're not typing? No. No? Gilligan's Island. <laughs> a razor and an artery. Oh my gracious. No, okay, that I think they're talking about something else. Okay. Weekend Warrior. 
Living ring for the fire. weekend. Re ring of fire. Ring of fire. I Jesus. fell into a burning ring of fire. Green acres. Green acres. Good. <laughs> oh my God. I knew you guys would come up with some good ones. Mayberry. Greatest American hero. Mm, yes. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Yeah, that's that. awesome. Our God is an awesome God. Green that's acres so theme. Awesome. Weekend, weekend at, at Bernie's. Bernie's. Yes. Spaz Mama is rocking it. Yeah. You guys got to come up with some good ones here. I got a few more. Now, we're going to get creative from here, okay? What would be the perfect theme song for this channel? And the channel is... Prepstead or Bob. Bob! What would be the theme song? What would it be? Like, the A-Team? The Adam Stanley. Dukes of Hazard Dukes theme song. Veggie, Veggie Tales. Tales. Bob's Burgers. Bob. You gotta go, yeah. Mama. Living in the USA, Terminator. Bonanza. Bonanza, that's great. All my uh, all my exes live in Texas. Uh oh. SpongeBob, Krabby Patties, <laughs> Grizzly Bear thing. <laughs> Roboco, I don't know what that I'm a is. The Lumberjack. Robocop. Mission Impossible, MacGyver. No, all my exes live in Texas. <laughs> Dukes of Hazard. Pre Pre Prep Center oh, Bob, they've got a lot of people are thinking that you, you've been down to Texas for a while. Home is where the heart is. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Hawaii Five O. Bob the Builder. Yes. That's TV funny. <laughs> TV Crockett. How does his song go? I don't know. I just know Bob the Builder goes, can we build it? Or can we Bob fix it? Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? I don't know. You know, we don't have kids that age anymore. Nope. So. Mission All right, guys. I really, I really want you to dig deep. I've got one, two, three, four more. And these I've got specially picked out. So, are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> okay. We do not watch SpongeBob anymore. That much. Anymore. <laughs> So what would be the theme song for this channel? And the channel is Doug and Stacy Off Grid. <laughs> what would be the theme song for Doug and Stacy Off Grid? Now it can be a regular song. You guys are like just picking TV songs. Yeah, it could be. It any, could be any song. Any song that you. I hear think on I'm the turning radio. Japanese. I think I'm turning Amish. No Amish. No, he's got the and the. Really? He's got the Amish the Paradise. Whoop. Keep spending no life, life, living in an Amish paradise. <laughs> Doug, forgive me, for I know not what I do. Amish paradise. Okay, okay I, I'm going to ask the next one. Well, no, they got you got to read some of these. These oh, are great. okay, okay, okay. Beverly Hillbillies, Green Acres. Oh, my gracious. <laughs> Put another log on the fire. Little House on the Prairie. Amish love paradise. Love will keep us together. Like, is that Captain and Tennille? Yes, uh, we yes. Keep us Living on a prayer. So does he get, He's he's got the, like that weird hat that Captain had. Yeah, Amish Paradise. Green Home on the Range, there's a good one. My Big Breast Bed. I don't know that one. I have no idea. I don't either. Building the barn. We're officially getting ready to be carried away by. These nat these bugs are huge. Chipmunk Chip Monk Love. Love. Home on the range. Isn't that, isn't that supposed to be a uh, uh, muskrat bells. love? Hell's bells. Oh my gracious. Oh All right, guys. My. Okay, I got the Switching next one. gears. Which one? That one? No, no, no. No, no, no. That one? Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Whoa. It's not on your list. It's not on my it's list. It's not on your list. Theme song for. I have, I have, I have strayed from the list, folks. That is not cricket. His head's going to explode here in a second. What would be the theme song for Living Like Claire? Oh, this is going to be good. Mm -hmm. She's going to start blocking stuff without even reading it. Right. Living like Claire. She says, <laughs> Living like Claire would be, um, oh, dang. Christ is going rogue. <laughs> what would, Living like Claire's would, oh, no. She knows the one. There's a band called Jet, and it's, um, I think it's like the first song on the record or the third song. But I'm not going to say it because it's got a word in it that's not kosher. But dead skunk in the middle of the road. Oh, gosh. Living on a prayer. Rocky. Gidget. Gidget, yes. Gidget's good. Yes. 
Angel Eyes. Friends. Now we're talking, Drew. Touched by an angel. Mary Tyler Moore Show. Claire, you don't know what that is, so you might want to look that Prep up Prepstead or Bob's got it right. The Braveheart theme. Saved by the Bell theme song. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, definitely. This Braveheart. can't be William Wallace. I'm, I'm prettier, prettier than, than this man. man. Ha horseshoes and hand grenades. The Flying Nun. No, the, what is that one song? <sighs> It's like Claire's theme song. Stick, shift. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. The Georgia Satellites. Yes. What is that song? Keep your hands to yourself. Yes. What's the name of that song? I don't know the name of the song. I don't know, but she loves that song. Oh, don't hand me no lines and keep your hands to yourself. That's her theme song. Oh, my gosh. Sweet Child of Mine, Betty Davis Eyes. Or we could go Jimi Hendrix. Foxy lady. Flying nun. Oh my god. Oh my gracious. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> There's plenty of other reasons to hate me. Okay, so we got to get back on the ranch here because um, we're getting ready to get carried Can't away. Touch this. All right, so I really want you to dig deep. Mm -hmm. No TV show themes. This no. has got to be actual songs. And what would be the theme song for this channel would be Justin Rhodes. Mm -hmm. And the Justin Rhodes. Foxy lady. Justin Rhodes and the lightning strikes. No, that's kind of mixing up Garth Brooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So who do we have? Knocking Mary. on heaven's door. No. Oh gosh. <laughs> on, the on the road, road again. again. There you go. Hee haw. Hee haw. <laughs> Bird, Bird is the, the word. word. That's great. And I've got one. Red October. That's funny. Copperhead, Copperhead Road, yeah. Time of our lives, White Snake, here we go again. <laughs> Hardworking man, all right. I have the tiger. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Ghost chickens, ghost riders in the sky. Oh my goodness gracious. I, I, Wheels on the bus go round and round. Here's my pick for Justin Rhodes' <laughs> theme song is Country Roads. Mm -hmm. John Denver. Yeah. Hardworking man, wow. that's a great one too. All right, we've got two left, and we're saving the worst for the last. The worst for the last? Yeah, we're not going to do that one. Okay, good. But here's the one, guys. What would be the theme song? you got to go deep with this. Mm -hmm. No TV show themes. No. What would be the theme song for Wrangler Star? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I just went with Rawhide. Rawhide. <laughs> Root them up. Okay, Run him in. you guys know that it's been dark for quite a while, but there is still a thin layer of red along the tree line on the other side of the lake. It is so beautiful. Danger zone for, yeah, for Wrangler Star. Deep in the heart of Texas. All along the watchtower. Excellent choice. Yeah. Dead or alive, great. Oh my gosh, danger zone. Dirt on my boots. <laughs> Rhinestone Cowboy, that is mm -hmm. totally Cody. S that is totally Cody. Yeah. Ghost Riders. <laughs> Dreamweaver, Dream Barbara. Ooh, oh Dreamweaver. All right, Katie Kloss. I don't know that song, mm. but I'm not going to repeat what it says. Oh, Claire. <laughs> oh, Top Gun. How about the Top Gun yes. thing? That's great. Yes. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, my gosh. That's don't so say funny. love is a battlefield. That's not, that wouldn't work. No. Love is a battlefield. That would not work. We are still solar powered, ladies Should and gentlemen. Should have been a cowboy. And there has not been one flicker other than the bugs. No. no. Going in front of it. Not According to the Energy Kodiak, we've basically not even touched the battery at all. Nice. At all. Madonna like a prayer. Oh, geez. <laughs> My heart is on fire. My heart will go on. <laughs> From Titanic. <laughs> I will always love you. No, wait. No, Th yeah. this, I've got it. I've got the perfect theme song for Wrangler Star. And it's <laughs> the eye of the tiger. Somebody already said that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, here's another one. I want to be a cowboy, baby. I want to be a cowboy. cowboy That's uh, Kid Rock. Boy, All right, boy, last boy. one of the evening, guys. Last one of the evening. You got to bring your A game, okay? This is it. What would be the theme song, not a TV show, and you better keep it clean, for the Big Family Homestead. Yeah, definitely. What would be the theme song 
for the big family homestead and you have to read them even as long as they're not weird. Okay. On your mark. Love will keep us together. Captain, Captain and Tennille. Tennille. That's a theme tonight. Yeah. That I was one of my like, favorite songs when I was a kid. Sad to say. I don't even know any of the bit. Yeah. Muskrat Love. Brady Bunch. <laughs> Barney. Barney. Amazing Grace. We are family. <laughs> don't forget about me. Old McDonald. <laughs> the old rugged cross. It's good to be back home again. Eight is enough. Partridge family. Dreamin'. Full house theme song. Oh my gracious. <laughs> Love shack. <laughs> Taking care of business. We are family. Three what hour tour. <laughs> love train. We are family. Thriller. <laughs> oh my god. Well yeah, because there's the a cemetery right there. The squirrel went berserk? Oh no, that's uh the day know. the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church. That was that guy, he was a comedian. Oh. Steve Oh. My dad liked him. I don't know. What was that guy? Don't stop believing. Working nine to five. He had like, like something the A Rab and he had I don't know. Eh, it was a funny Ray Stevens, that's right, okay. Dave. Thank you. Healing Gonzalez on the farm. Uh, Beautiful day. Ed for the win. Working on sunshine. Ed for the win. Total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> White Christmas, yes. Actually, I do love that love that tune. Yeah. Alright guys, here's the scoop. Um, as we're getting annoying. ready. It's really bad now. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Old McDonald had a. E I E I O. All right. So here's the deal, guys. We are going to call it a night. It is officially about three minutes till I turn into a pumpkin. Yeah. Well, and these bugs are. Ugh. I mean, the light is a great idea. Except we need a screened room to be in. Do you guys really see the bugs coming at us? Oh, yeah, I see they the see them. Truthification says. Some of those bugs are humongous. The bugs are entertaining. Mm hmm. So. It's bug 30. <laughs> anything by Aerosmith, Gat. Mm -hmm. uh, well, like, not love in an elevator. That really doesn't apply. No. Or dude looks like a lady. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I look great in pumps. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is messed up. <laughs> no. So, okay. Here's the scoop, guys. Um, we're gonna we're gonna call it a night here in just a bit. But um, many of you know we are a family of believers. We are Christians, and um, but we don't want to try and you know cram anything down anybody's throat. So we're gonna talk a little bit just briefly, mm -hmm. and then we are gonna say a prayer and call it a night. So if that's not your thing, we really do hope you hang around. But we don't want to pressure you to feel like, you know, you're weirded out in any way. So if you hang, great. If not, we'll hope to see you next week. Um, but here's the scoop. Um, preparedness without having a reason to be prepared seems kind of silly to me. If you don't know why... You want to stay alive, you want to keep going, you want to protect your family, you want to do all these things. Yeah, it's good to take care of your family and all that stuff, but if we're talking about the big, big, big picture, when we're worm food, why do all this stuff unless you got a reason to do it? Yeah. And the only reason I can think of that's actually the ultimate reason is because we have a God who loves us more than any father could ever love us and gave everything to have a relationship with us. Even when we were just horrible, when we would do nothing for him, when we said, put him on the cross by our sins, when we did that, he said, I still love you anyway. And yeah, 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 I know all the stuff you've done and I know all the stuff that you think will keep you away from me, but it doesn't need to. I, I made a way for you to come to me. I made a way for us to connect. I made a way. And if you'll just accept my, my gift of salvation, everything changes. And so guys, we're just gonna say a real quick prayer and then the bugs are gonna take us. I think we're gonna be bait here soon. Uh, so just chew on that. 
Your Father God in heaven loves you more than you could ever think, imagine, or dream. And so with that, I'm just going to pray real quick. Father God, thank you so much for every one of these folks that's here. I ask that you would just, to each and every one watching and listening, that you would just show them how much you love them tonight, that you would just pick them up and give them a big old daddy bear hug, that they would know that you are absolutely in love with them and you've removed every roadblock for us to have a relationship with you. And so we thank you, Jesus, and we love you. Amen, guys. Amen. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I'm going to have to turn the uh, old Kodiak off. But it's awesome, and it's worked great. Not a blip. Battery hasn't even been touched. No, not at all. So, good night. Good night, everybody. You guys shut that off or else. Yes, I know. Yeah, because then the bugs are going to carry me. Carry me on, wayward son. Something in the water over there.